For those that wait upon Yahuwah, they shall renew their strength. They shall mount wings like eagles. They shall run and never get tired. They will walk and never faint. Shalom, brothers and sisters, your brother DFG. Hey, my brothers and sisters, I just wanted to take a couple of minutes here, a short time, um, because something was on my heart uh, earlier today. And, you know, I just wanted to share that with my brothers and or share it with my brothers and sisters. And, and it's this. Tell me if it's not a beautiful thing to be able to come to a channel and hear messages, get insight, find scripture, tie in precepts the way our ancient fathers would have been able to do when they were listening to the Torah being taught or when they were teaching it, you know, to their sons and daughters or sharing it in the household or sharing it among the men, you know, sharing it amongst the daughters of Zion. Just listening to, them, listening to them talking about the beauty of Israel, the beauty of, 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 of Jerusalem, the beauty of Judah. Thinking in terms of, you know, you look at Psalms 139 saying, we were fearfully and wonderfully made. That we were, as it says in the, in the earlier books, Genesis, <laughs> that we were made in the image and the likeness of a sovereign creator. Isaiah, who tells us that we are the chosen of the Holy One of Yahshua. <laughs> who praise you? When, we, when, you, when you think of, 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 again, let's come up with another one. Hallelujah. You know, you think about Jeremiah. <laughs> Say you were sanctified in the womb of your mother. I knew you. Before you were even given or birthed out. And to me, brothers and sisters, you know, in this time of awakening, in this time where Daniel said that knowledge would be increased and the wise would understand, but the unwise, they would not understand and continue on the path way that they began. And, you know, to be, to be told us, learn not the way of the heathens. <laughs> It is such a beautiful thing. What a, 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 a moment of clarity that we're experiencing. Those of us who are now able to study and listen to the ancient tech. The ancient words. Had we been living three, four thousand years ago, we'd have been sitting amongst the trees. <laughs> out in nature, out in the camps and communities. All like-minded. All sharing, all loving, all praising, all glorifying the one sovereign Elohim. Never anybody telling us about, you know, some other Elohims. If they did, we'd put them out the camp. And if they weren't careful, we'd put them out the camp with extreme prejudice. <laughs> and I think y'all know what that means. We, we, we would grab some stones and be throwing it at them as we throwing them out of the camp. But here it is in 20, you know, 24 now. You know, we are in a place, some of us, that we can worship our Yahuwah in truth. We can worship him in pureness of heart. We can love him as, as Moses told the people that they showed all their mind, all their body, and all of their strength. We can read about the successes of the Jobs who went through trials but came out like I just read in Isaiah 40, 30, Yah renewed his strength. He mounted his wings like an eagle. <laughs> Hallelujah. We can read the wonderful stories of, 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 you know, David fighting against the heathen Philistine Goliath and winning. We can enjoy the stories of Judith. When our people were under siege, she took initiative and said, you know, King, no, we're not going to give up our children. We're not going to give up, you know, our people to this heathen king. Even though they have surrounded us, I got a plan. Beautiful stories like our brother, you know, our forefather, Israel, Yashorel, 
Jacob, some of you know, leaving from the from, from the clever and, and the wickedness of his father-in-law, returning home to his mother and father and sees a brother who is full of bitterness and envy and strife, yet being able to call upon Yahuwah, just Yahuwah, no one else, just calling upon Yahuwah, and Yahuwah sent 400, I'm sorry, really, three angels who came with 1,200 mighty men and ran off that devil. Or at least that devilish, you know, heathen brother of his. And I'm just, I'm just grateful, brothers and sisters. I'm, I feel privileged to live in this day and time, understanding that, you know, we've gone back to the ancient ways. We're unlearning what we learned to learn what we must know. That we're learning that we never needed any other savior. We didn't need, you know, old sweet Jesus. <laughs> black turned white, turned black, allegedly. That we didn't need him. They didn't need him. They didn't need him for thousands of years and they did well. They, they prospered. What did Solomon say? The blessing of, of Abba Yahuwah make a man rich and add no sorrow with that. How, how did they explain that with no Jesus? Yah found it in those men that they could serve him. He, he found in those men that they could keep his Torah. They kept it. And when they fell short like David, what did they do? They didn't go find another entity. Say, so Yah, send me an intercessor. No, they intercessed. They, were, they intercessed on their own behalf because they knew they were the chosen people, that they were the people of Yah. And they didn't need no Jesus, 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 Jesus until they got dizzy. And still were waiting on Jesus. They didn't need any promises about in my father's house there are many mansions. No, they had theirs right here. They had their kingdom right here. They had their beauty, their families, their culture right here. And they saw the strength of Yahuwah day and night. Whenever they called upon him, he answered. You know, I was thinking about it, you know, <laughs> it's kind of funny, at least to me. You know, they didn't need, you know, you know, a, a, a long, stringy-haired man, <laughs> you know, walking on water for him, you know, turning, you know, water into wine, <laughs> you know, laying around with prostitutes, or at least hanging out with them, being called a drunk. They didn't need all of that. You know, it reminds me of a... <laughs> Some of y'all ain't gonna like me saying that, but it reminds me of Suge Knight at the BET Awards some years back talking about if you want to be with a, you know, with a, you know, part of a group of people who don't have, you know, the owner dancing in the video, singing it. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. If you want to serve the one sovereign creator and see his strength, to be elevated and lifted up, what did Isaiah said? He said, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the, the, the power of Yahuwah will lift him up like a boy lifting up in the water. He also said, what? They, that, those, you know, that he said, how did he say? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm just so full right now, brothers and sisters. No weapon formed against us would prosper. And that was in their time, by the way. They didn't need nobody else. They didn't need somebody he said, no weapon formed against Israel would prosper. That's what Isaiah said. And every tongue that came against him, he said, your whore would judge him. Your whore would deal with him. What did David tell us again in Psalms 91? He said, one to put a thousand to flight, two ten thousand to flight. But they didn't need anybody but themselves. And Yahuwah. Because he said to them, what? In Isaiah 43 and 10, he said, I am what? Your redeemer. I am your savior. There is none before me. There is none after me. So what are you talking about? Just love me with all your heart, all your mind, and all your strength. And guess what? I'm going to have your back, Israel. We didn't need Buddha, Tammuz, Krishna, Zeus, Amara. We didn't need any of them. We still don't, to be told. We don't need them dancing in the video. Hallelujah. But I just wanted to say to my brothers and sisters, it's a beautiful thing 
to be able to teach, to share fellowship with my brothers and sisters in the ancient way. We don't have to go to the New Testament. We stay right in the Tanakh, right in the Torah, right in all those other books that were hidden from us so that we would not see ourselves in the book. But again, we're in the last days and Yah said, we would awaken. He said in the last days when he pull out his Ruach, right, on all flesh, meaning Israel, of course, at least the one third. It's available to all of us, but only, you know, not only one third, but as I was talking to one of the sisters uh, earlier this week or maybe last week, you know, it really come down to a tenth, one tenth of us are really going to be redeemed. We'll get that in a future study. But that to be said, I just wanted to take a moment and just share my excitement, you know, my joy, hopefully your, hopefully your joy. And it's not to throw no shade at the people who still doing Jesus and whatever they're doing over there. You know, you know, we were there. We were in that, in that, what we thought was redemption. What we thought was the right way. Only to find out, you know, it was not. <laughs> You know, again, our brother Solomon said, there's a way that seems right to a man, but the end of it leads to that man's destruction. Hallelujah. So now we're at that place where we can see Yah. We can see his power. We see the manifestation of what he said, that, that he would bless us coming and he would bless us going. If we served him, we'd be blessed in the fruit of our bodies. Our children would be blessed. Everything about us would be blessed. Hallelujah. And by the grace of the most powerful creator of all things it's starting to happen at least for those of us who have you know been bold enough bold as a lion to come out to challenge you know what we know is not truth to challenge you know you know theology to challenge it in terms of hey that's not what was originally written and because it wasn't original written wasn't originally written and Yahuwah does not change. He say, I am the creator. I change not. Malachi 3 and 6. And because he does not change, then we have every justification to take him at his word. He's not a man. That's what Torah says. Number 23. He's not a man. Neither is he the son of man that he should lie. Nor repent for lying. And if he said it, he's going to do it. So if we are fearfully and wonderfully made, Psalms again, 139, no weapon formed against us is going to prosper. He is our Savior. He is our Redeemer, Isaiah 43. Though the enemy comes in like a flood, Yah will lift us up above the enemy. Again, Isaiah 59. I knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. I sanctify you. You are the Holy One of Ash Yasharel, Isaiah 43, 1 through 4, the Chosen. Those who are called by my name. And if it could get any better, and it does, he says those, you know what I'm saying, that he said my people who are called by my name, if they would humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, if they would turn from their wicked ways. He said this what? He said I would hear them. Not needing somebody in between them. He said I would hear them. And know what? I will forgive their sins and I would heal their land. Not if they serve some other entity. No, he said, no. If they serve me and me only, I will hear them. If they obey my commandments. Our people obeyed the commandments of Yah for thousands of thousands of years. Many of them were blessed. They were only cursed or were placed in captivity or only had to carry bondage and chains when we served the gods of the heathens. Including the one who was so-called black turned white turned black, allegedly. I'll end this saying this. Second Chronicles 16 and 9 says what? What does it say, brothers and sisters? Y'all know? It says, the spirit of Yahuwah goes throughout the whole earth, this whole flat earth. Doing what? Looking to show himself strong on behalf of those whose hearts are perfect towards him. 
who are who understand that he is sovereign he is one there is none before him there is none after them after him and if you get deceived into believing that you hate him go back and read exodus uh 20 chapter 20 and verse 5 it says it says that if you if you serve we would serve he said then that's hating him but they're telling us to hate him because they're telling us to serve Jesus, 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 and all the other ones out there. And we said, no, we don't hate him. We love him. We love him with all our heart, all mind, all our strength. Again, as Moshe told us in Deuteronomy 6 and 4. And we're going to keep the Torah just like Noah kept the Torah all the days of his life. Abraham kept the Torah all the days of his life. Enoch kept, kept, you know, kept the Torah for the time that he was here until he was translated. And with every breath in my body, <laughs> like Joshua said, the world can do whatever they want to do. But as for me, in my house, my family, those are the one third, maybe one tenth, we're going to serve Yahuwah. That's Joshua 24 and 15. So I'm excited. I'm going to remind my brothers and sisters, you know, we have Tanakh study every, Tanakh lessons every Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern time, you know, all you got to do is just dial in, toll free number, you find it on the about page, you just put your phone on, phone on mute and just follow along with the lesson. Bring your Tanakh with you, your book with you, some called Bible, your cipher with you, and just, just listen in. All are welcome. You follow me? And I think you'll find it to be uh, very edifying and much needed in these last days and time. Bring your children too. All right? <laughs> so again, <laughs> I just want to remind my brothers and sisters, we are the people of the book. We're near the coming or the return of our Abba Yahuwah, Alua. Be ready. All right? And be joyful. Be glad. Because we were always with him. He was always with us. We just got lost. But by the grace of Yah, come on over here. Stay with us. <laughs> And we're going to find out who we are, what we are, what's in our hands, and how to utilize it. And that's the blessings of Abba Yahuwah and the promise of eternal redemption. <laughs> All right, brothers and sisters, your brother DFG. Shalom.